Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Today is July 7th. It's Wednesday here, and I hope you guys are all having a good one today. We're, of course, covering today's trade recap and um, kind of disappointed with my performance. Really not that great. And as you guys know, if you've been tuning into the channel, uh, last couple days have been pretty rough for me. So I've been trying to get over some of those red days and get back in a better position. But Anyways, we're going to dive into today's um, trade recap, and the main, I you know, I only traded one stock today, and I traded it a bunch, but uh, only one stock, so um, kind of interesting. I usually trade at least at least two or three, and uh, today, just, just one stock. So we're talking about uh, Newegg, so if you've ever been on the computer website, um, that's what we're referring to. Apparently, there's some news out. Um, yesterday, it did have a, a pretty large run up and kind of stabilized. And I think I got just a few trades on it yesterday. And I was thinking this thing would probably die out, you know, the next day. And however, um, this thing really ripped today. So I guess the news came out and traders hopped on it. And it the thing went insane. And so a lot of opportunity. You just had to... Um, take advantage of it and ride that freaking wave and it was a bit hard to do towards the end here especially with so many halts so uh let's go ahead and dive into it all right for me i did have to run a and an errand today or i had to go to an appointment for a rental property um had a hvac appointment and i couldn't miss it and unfortunately that took place right uh where was it somewhere in here i think around 1028 ish maybe before that actually yeah it might have been 1020 something like that and i missed the rest of this entire run and i don't know if that was well kind of a bad thing because it obviously extended way out from there and that would have been a really huge win but uh, you got to do what you got to do. I had to take care of business and uh, missed out on that piece of it. But this morning, uh, you know, I've been struggling a little bit with my strategy. Uh, and sometimes I guess I'll, I'll feel that way depending on how kind of the market is going in the small cap world. And today just would have been one of those days to really utilize that strategy of just really holding out um through extended times and it would have you know played out really well for you in this whole period of, of trading on this one and for me i stuck to my scalp trading which was quick in and out so i was taking profits but i was missing the bigger moves because of it and um you know let's let's look at the performance here real quick so this kind of is how I went today. Never went red, which was good, but towards the end of the day, I, I completely squashed it. Um, started at 62, went all the way up to 623 bucks. From there, I made a few bad trades. And my problem is that when I get into these situations, I'm, I'm taking profits along the way, riding um, certain stocks up which is good but like I said had I just held some of the positions longer I wouldn't have been in a better environment because what happens is I'll get into um, you know a position where now I'm, I'm holding a loser and I tend to hold those just way too long which have which create these dramatic sell-offs for me and I end up you know, making or losing so much on my on my losers. And it's, of course, it's a bad habit and just trying to get out of it. So I'll share with you a strategy I went over today and tried to change up a bit. But uh, this was the performance. And yeah, look, this got up back up to 630. And uh, trade the trade here took me down to 96 bucks on the day. And you feel pretty crummy after that when you work all the way up to something like this. But um, I think a few of you mentioned to take down my share size a bit, which I think was a great idea. And I did do it. However, I, just, I didn't stick to that um, when I thought there was more opportunity on the table. So that was a difficult piece. But 
let's look at it real quick. Let's look at the chart. All right. And uh, so anyways, I have to update you. I'm currently realized on the day up 159 bucks, which isn't really that great. However, I do have a short position on the same stock and I started it earlier in the day or, or sorry, later in the day, right in this um, area here. I, I, I started shorting it at 70, 60. So the stock has gone way down. Um, I need to close it out. I'm looking to see if it goes any further, but currently right now I'm sitting up 529 bucks on that. So uh, if I can close out on that, um, you know, it'll be a much better day for me here, but this is after hours. So anyways, let's dive into this. Like I mentioned, um, I traded this all throughout my last trade. Let's see before I had to leave. Um, had to be 10. It was 10, 10. Yeah. So look, I was able to trade it all throughout here until we got to 10, 10 into that first halt. And from there, I had to I had to leave and missed out on the rest of this entire move. So let me know in the comments if you if you got a piece of the pie on this whole move here. Um, let's call it ten sixteen from ten sixteen on. Um, if you if you capitalized on this and and um, really got a good chunk of money here, because that is a huge run from forty eight to um, to seventy, and then. From there, you know, I got back uh, to the office at 12.03, so that was much later in the day, and once I saw it start moving back up here, I wanted to go in for um, a few more trades because I thought it might test some levels, which it did. Tested this prior, um, I wouldn't really call that a high, but a high point right there, and... Uh, bounced around there a little bit, dropped off, and eventually pushed through. So these were good areas to hop in. And um, yeah, just some, some good moves in here. You had to be, you kind of had to be quick, and you had to be in the right, you just have to time it. That's what was difficult about this thing, is just timing it, because it was pretty volatile, and it would have these nice moves up. But just as quickly as it would move up, it would also flush down, or like right here. See this nice move up, nice move up, and then we have a huge move down here. <clears throat> so kind of hard to time it a bit, and it can be tricky, especially later in the day like this when it's just bouncing around. But eventually we had this nice solid move up, and it was a bunch of moves, and it was difficult for me because I was like thinking to myself, okay, I want to get in, but I, I, we know... The prior high here was 70, so I don't want to push my luck because I think it might test that area and it could have a huge sell-off. Um, but it didn't, and it kept running, and so I just had to in and out, in and out all along the way, and I just wish I would have changed the strategy up just a, a smidge here to hold the winners much longer because, especially in this case, it would have worked out perfectly. But I felt like in this area, it was dangerous. You know, Had you held something too long, um, you know, you could have really taken taken a huge hit there. So, uh, and I know I did. I think it was what was the area? My big mistake. I want to show you right in here towards the end of the day was I was up six hundred thirty and went all the way down to ninety six bucks. Um, I don't know. I had so many trades on. It. I don't know where the time frame was at on that one, but I think it was. It might have been this spot here or in here. But I think what happened was I, um, as this was curling back up, I was going in and uh, I probably bought somewhere right in here and we had a major sell off. So I had to, I had to drop it and cut the loss. So I did cut losses when I could. I, I felt like it was a little bit better on that today as far as cutting losses. Um, I really didn't average down, which was good. And, um, that's just kind of how the day went. So up 159 bucks, not much to really show for this massive move we had today. But like I said, unfortunately, I missed out on this huge run here. And um, 
got back later and tried to utilize this one, but uh, got, you know, uh, plenty of good trades in there. But they were all small profits, and then this one just killed me here. So let me know how you guys did today, and uh, I want to hear from you guys to find out how this stock went in particular for you guys. If you're, if you're red on the day, if you're green on the day, definitely want to hear from everyone. So throw those in the comments. And like I said, um, I do have, I decided towards um, the end of the day here, to hop in once I saw this really ripping down like this, I decided to hop in for a short, and I'm currently still holding that position. So I got in at 760. It's right in here, and uh, I was a little bit worried after hours because we hit this spot right in here and then bounced really hard. And it's really hard to you know judge where these things are going to go. But small cap world, I'm looking at the yearly chart here. Just clicked on yearly. And if you look at the yearly, you know, we've had some runs in the past where this thing absolutely rips hard and goes right back down where it's trading. So that's kind of what got me thinking maybe I should go for a short at the end of the day because I feel like it might really just bleed off uh, pretty hard. So I'm glad I'm in that. But then again, you know, this thing... If it gains a little bit more momentum again, it could curl back up and do some new highs. So, you know, we're still up a bit. It's kind of stabilized. It's it's moved up this much, and it hasn't come all the way back. And it's kind of, you know, looks like found some support around 59. But I'm going to watch it to see if it breaks through. Um, but if it starts curling, I, I might just have to sell it. But uh, setting up, what, 498 bucks now on it. And uh, that's where we sit. So hopefully I can close out on a um, bigger win on this thing. And yeah, just by looking at the yearly chart here, it looks like there is some potential for, there for this thing to really come down. You know, up here. I don't want to hold it for, you know, multiple days and turn it into a swing trade. I'd like to just close out on it. But hey... You know, if, if it goes, which it eventually might go back down to, you know, the area I was trading at back in here in the 15s, 20s, um, which would be a huge win, but I don't know how long that'll take, you know, especially if this thing finds support and it wants to go again. So <clears throat> anyways, that's it for today, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the recap. And I really do appreciate everyone in there that is dropping comments and hitting that like button. It helps me out and I hope it helps you guys out because I know there's a lot of traders out there to kind of want to see. Not that I'm a teacher, really. I don't think I'm necessarily qualified as of yet to really teach people how to trade. I just like to show my recaps to for you guys to see, you know, how an average trader is doing um, in the small cap world. And uh, just to give you a kind, you know, a little bit of reference, because I know there's a plenty of traders out there that are pros, that are killing it, that are crushing it, that are making millions. And uh, I'm not one of those. And uh, sometimes that's really hard to relate to as well, especially when you're first starting out. So I think maybe, hopefully, I'm a little bit more relatable. Um, like I said, I might, I might not have the best advice. Uh, I'm just showing you how my trading's going. That's really all I'm doing here. So I hope you guys enjoy. That's it. We'll take care. We'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully have a much uh, better tomorrow and rest of the week. So take care.